Vanderbilt. When you hear that name, what do you think of? Money, power, influence, a school perhaps. Those, all those things are true. But the Vanderbilt, it's an interesting story with them. It starts with the Commodore Vanderbilt, the first one who, who made the Vanderbilt name that it is today. It starts off with him. But this book, Fortune's Children, The Rise and Fall of the House of Vanderbilt. Now, mind you, Commodore, he lived in the 1800s. And they said his net worth, his net worth was almost a billion dollars. Think about that for a second. The eighteen hundreds. Well, railroads is the primary is the primary means of transportation. It's worth almost a billion dollars. You know how much money that is in eighteen hundreds. Well, because he owned most of the railroads. But it's interesting. One of his direct descendants died penniless. You know, as you as you read this book, you try to see a trend. Commodore, he instills the values into his kids, but as they go along, it gets lost. And so they start buying up these big, these making these big houses, several, and like the Biltmore, a huge house. Huge. But it's sad what happens to all these houses and all these possessions. They lose them. Because they make the sad mistake. If you buy a house, if you buy a house and build it up so big, you must realize that you have to maintain that house. So if it has 50-something rooms in it, you have to pay for electricity year after year after year, and it adds up. There was a one ascendance for his 22nd birthday. He just finished college. He spent 30000 40000 in one night. One night. That's in 24 hours. He spent thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. That kind of reckless spending, it's no wonder some of them had very little money when they died. It's no wonder. They lost money management they didn't have. They figured the money would keep rolling and rolling and rolling in. But that's not how it works. That's not how it worked in their case. They figured it would keep rolling in, but it didn't. Um, there on the back, it's someone who read this says that this is a fascinating picture of a social and financial struggle in New York 100 years ago. A truly fascinating book. It is. I would highly recommend reading this book. I enjoyed it very much. I learned a few things about the Brandon Bills. Um, they still are rich, by the way, but not as rich as they once were. They were the leading family in America, but they're not leading anymore. They're in fact behind others. But it's definitely a good read and definitely worth picking up. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. Or do all three. I'll see you next time.